Hi there, yes, I'm going to just review with you um, what are the different requirements for the banks. If you want to become a personal banking officer or else a, it's called an account manager in RBC or it's called a financial services rep in CIBC or in TD also it's called a financial services rep. So for that purpose, if you want to become one of these, it really is, it comes down to a lot of things but you need to have those qualities. For example, this video is very good. I mean, it shows you from CIBC point of view, but also for most of the banks is what you expect to do. Uh, you'll be meeting with clients, so you play, play a key role in building client relationships and offering personalized solutions that meet their needs. So you need to sit down with the clients and understand what are their needs, their financial needs. And then you have to give them you know, the appropriate advice that meets their needs. You need to know about all the products available in that bank and give the right advice. Um, you also need to know what the interest rates are for the different like investments and borrowing products. Um, and you also need to know what the competitors out there are going to be offering because you have to be able to show how your bank's products are better than others. Um, so you have to listen carefully to the client and make a relationship with them. You have to be good in computers and you're able to use the service tools, set up the accounts on the computer and of course make sure everything is compliant according to requirements and you meet with your manager regularly and they will give you guidance you know how to improve um, how to provide the right advice to the clients and so you have to practically contact your clients too you have to do telephone calls and you have to be able to understand um, how to talk to clients different people different nationalities and be able to connect with them all of them so if this is something that interests you, basically what you do need to do is you need to have this accountability, all this understanding. And a requirement is that you have to do CIFC, that is the Canadian Investment Funds or the IFIC um, exam, um, or the CSC. So that is a requirement of the job. And this is not just in CIBC, but it's the same thing with RBC also. If you look at RBC, they call them account managers. Um, so this position here, you do need mutual fund accreditation, either IFIC or CSC. If you are fluent in second language, it's really good. I mean, you know, if you know other even local languages or Chinese, um, Spanish, or you know French, or you know Hindi, Punjabi, Urdu, these all these other languages, different nationalities are here. That is a positive point. Um, and you need to be flexible. Now a lot of branches are open in the evenings, are open on weekends, so you need to be able to be able to work on different times. It's not just a nine to five job there. Um, and it's the same thing with the other banks also, with all the banks. Even if you go to Scotia Bank, there it's called a personal banking officer. And in that you need to be able to be organized and as you can see they also want like Portuguese, Spanish, Polish, Korean, Italian. And then, so in Scotia Bank, they prefer to have a college or university degree. But the good news is you don't have to have it. So, but you must have the CSC or the IFIC exam. So this is for most of the personal banking offices, the entry level position in the banks, with TD, with the National Bank, all of it is the same. Um, so in my next video, I'll tell you about how to do the CSC, the IFIC exam, how to pass that. But otherwise, um, this is what you. This is the starting point for most of the jobs and this is like a 40k position about forty thousand dollars annually with other benefits and all so hopefully that's been useful and please see my next video about how to qualify how to pass the csc and the ific exam have a nice day